Welcome back. Well, if you haven't started your Christmas shopping yet, now's your chance. Black Friday is tomorrow. Now, you may know about the door crashing savings in America, but some of those deals are starting to make their way up north. Take a look. Black Friday, a frenzy, a mad rush to get the best bang for your buck. In the United States, it's a day that brought in $57.4 billion last year. And Canadian retailers are starting to take notice. Compared to Boxing Day, which would typically be a really big day, it's got to be neck and neck. Black Friday is just starting to gain momentum in Canada. For the first time, this group of local retailers is coming together to create a store for the big day. It's fun. It's very exciting. Yeah, there's a lot of buzz. Customers are very happy, very excited. As of Wednesday afternoon, nearly half of the people polled in a recent Global Saskatoon survey plan to shop come Friday, which is not only good for the pocketbook, but for the local economy. The discretionary component is a good thing, and the fact that people are saving money gives them free do disposable dollars for other alternatives. Boxing Day used to be the day Canadians waited for to save big, but according to a recent UPS Canada survey, 26% of Canadian retailers now offer Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. But despite their best efforts, the number of Canadians shopping down south is also up. Number of consumers in Canada who are going to buy cross border, you know, via e commerce, has grown from 13% in 2011 up to 32%, you know, so almost three times. Retailing and the internet are a blended phenomenon today, and it continues to be a pressure that all businesses have to be cognizant of. Experts say with the recent dip in the loony, there will be a small shift to Canadian store sites, something local retailers are painting their shop black for this Friday. And Jessica is in with more on Black Friday, and you've got some interesting stats for us. I do. Let's start with Canadian stats here. Now, according to a 2013 BMO study, the average Canadian spends around $292 on Black Friday. However, they're expected to save around $250. So that's pretty good bang for your buck. <laughs> save $250. Now, another thing that that's I... That's what the sign says, right? Well, exactly, <laughs> right? 50% off store-wide. Um, but another thing I thought was very Canadian is um, we're more likely to spend on others than we are for ourselves on Black Friday. Okay, so we're, we're, get, we're buying gifts. I'm going to buy my dad a fridge. Mm -hmm. We're buying gifts. Yeah, go for it. Stop by a future shop if they sell fridges. Um, now, let's touch on the American stats. The average person is likely to spend $407.23, and last year in America, $57.4 billion, billion, that's with a B, was spent on Black Friday. Now, that number is actually down from the year before, where $59 billion was spent. Wow. Lots of money going out there. And we also have Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday, yes. It started in 2005. And Kevin, you've actually taken advantage of Cyber Monday sales. Maybe yesterday that happened already. Yeah. Free sales all over Wednesday. the place. Free sales, yeah, right? It's, Cyber it's, Wednesday. Annoyed. Yeah. It's yeah. Too, it's too confusing. It is. There's, There's a lots, lot of stuff. Lots going on this time of year, regardless. Um, helps you save money. And like I mentioned in my pack, well, Kent Smith Windsor mentioned, the money that you save goes back into our economy, right. making it stronger. Are you going to shop tomorrow? I think I will. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to buy yet. Plus, if you buy online, one more tip for you. If you plan to buy stuff online, get it done now because it, I, I ordered yesterday. It shipped yesterday. No way that happens on Monday. Well, and UPS actually worldwide hires 90,000 extra staff, 2,000 in Canada, just to take care, starting on Black Friday going to Christmas. Wow. Yeah. Believe it. <laughs> Thanks, wow. Jess. Yeah, no problem.